Here's the radio set up in the winter sunshine and you can still quite clearly see the display from most angles and uh, I'll just key up the uh, PTT and uh, there, is, there is on the right hand side here there's a lead well, three LEDs, come on. And uh, they're not so easy to see in the daylight. And on the left hand side over here, there are three LEDs that come on when you open the squelch. And you can't really see that in the daylight either. Well, I wanted to try programming some channels into this from the keypad or from the screen, from the front panel anyway. And the first thing I notice is that the, it tunes in the 25k steps. So that's something that we've got to sort out straight away. I'll attempt to do that. Uh, first of all, you have to long press the function button. Uh, Now you rotate this to number 11, press that in and select 12.5k, press again and uh, it will just time out of that menu. So now we should be able to tune. Oh, I keep getting caught out by that, I keep thinking that's the tuning knob and it isn't. So using the... Uh, microphone we can now tune in the uh, 25k steps and hopefully we should be able to store that um, I don't know whether that's stored it or not right, the procedure appears to be like this short press the function button and the knob, the knob number flashes, turn that to the channel you want to store it in and then press the VM button and that's it. That is now on that, stored on that memory channel. We want to store the next frequency up. Hang on, we're in memory mode aren't we? So um, let's store for 30.9 in the next memory channel. So we short press the button, rotate that to number 2 and press VM. Now we should have two, um, go back to, uh, go back to memory mode. And we've got the two channels programmed in. We set the frequency, but this is still simplex. And we want it to be a repeater frequency, so we need to set the offset. So to do that, we press the function button. Oh no, we don't. We long press the function button. And then we rotate this until it says offset. We press that and we can now adjust the offset. I've actually chosen it to 7.6. Okay, now we need to set the direction because of the long press again. Rotate this to shift press that and select positive shift because the transmitter is higher than the receiver frequency. Now hopefully when we transmit, yes, it transmits on the higher frequency and receives on the lower. Now we'll store that in, we'll restore it back in memory too. Apologies for the shadows.
So now, that should be stored in memory too. So if we go back to VFO mode, and dear, it catches me out every time. That's not the frequency control. Go back to VFO mode, uh, so it's back to memory mode. And yes, it's remembered. It's remembered the shift. So now we need to select the CTCSS. I really don't understand the book, so let's try and do this. Short press that, followed by that. Oh yes, the CTCS appears. So we, we can change that to 67. And presumably press that to remember it. And we'll press that. No. Oh well, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Looks a bit ambiguous on this. It says um, select that, and it says press the up and down key or any other fun any key other than volume to exit. Well, this is what happens if you press any other key. If you um, it says you can press those buttons to get out of that menu. Let's try again. I think, what happens if I just leave it? It times out. Presumably that's now set. Yeah. This thing's very confusing. Anyway, let's try and store that. Um, so if we go to a different channel, let's go to that channel and have a look, see what the, yeah, it's got a different CTCSS on that one. We go to channel two. Oh, and yes, it's remembered it. We might be in business.